A life-size cruise liner has docked in Birmingham for one of the most ambitious outdoor live performances ever to be staged in the city. It's part of the curtain raiser for the London 2012 Festival, which begins tomorrow. Well, our reporter, Lindsay Doyle, joins us now from Victoria Square, where the liner is already looking pretty ship -shape. Uh, So, Lindsay, it's called The Voyage, so how large will the cast, or should that be the crew, be? <laughs> Well, this is a show on a vast scale. The ship is huge. And we're looking at around 150 dancers. We're looking at an orchestra, a brass band, a marching band, and around 70 volunteers who'll be mingling amongst the audience, acting as passengers and also as stewards for the event, which promises to be an amazing opening for the start of the London 2012 Festival. Performance on a vast scale. The voyage marks the beginning of the London 2012 Festival, the country's biggest ever festival, taking place in celebration of the Olympic and Paralympic Games. An enormous passenger liner built around Birmingham Town Hall is the focal point of the performance. Thousands of people from all over the world are expected to attend the Olympics in the summer and Voyage is a celebration of the imagination and courage of anyone who's ever journeyed. What we're trying to create here is a kind of multimedia spectacular. What you can't see at the moment is that the, at night, 10 o'clock at night it happens, there's going to be a film which is projected onto the boat and then onto the town hall and all the performance is then integrated into that film. The voyage began in Victoria Square several days ago with the construction of the ship, rigged for high wire extraordinary aerial acrobatics, massive video projections, song and dance. The ship is slowly transformed into a live set for a cast of 170. Not something you see every day in Birmingham city centre. Uh, I'm guessing something with the Titanic, potentially. Have any idea what that is? A boat, I suppose, a ship. Yeah. Why have they put a ship in the council house? <laughs> I ain't got a clue. <laughs> well, it's a boat. It looks like the shape of a boat. But I've no idea what it's for. It'll have been two years from conception to opening night. It's hoped it will leave a lasting memory of the year all eyes look to Britain. Well, I'm joined now by Claire Benson, one of the dancers from Motion House, which is based in Leamington Spa. Claire, in the spirit of the Olympic Games, this is an international collaboration, isn't it? Absolutely. It's, it's just so exciting because we're a locally based company from Leamington and here we are performing on a huge scale with an Australian dance com um, theatre circus company. It's just, it's huge. It's really exciting, which is why in the nature of the Olympics, it's just perfect, really, bringing everybody together. Now, you mentioned the Australians. They're aerial acrobats, aren't they? How are we going to expect something good from them? I think it's safe to say you're going to be wowed. Yeah, they are absolutely incredible. They're such talented performers, and it's been a total joy working with them because they've just given us so much advice and skills and just that kind of inspiration, really. So we've been really lucky to work with such wonderful people. Now, we're just over 24 hours away from the grand performance. Are you ready? Are you, all of your dancers all ready to go? Yes, it's been very trying. We've had lots of frustrating setbacks with ship builds and all that kind of stuff, the rain, but actually we're going to win. It's going to be fantastic. The performance is going to be absolutely epic and we're going to give you a real treat. Claire, thank you so much for joining us. Well, the London 2012 Festival will bring artists from all over the world, all 204 competing nations, and what a joy that we have some of them right here in Birmingham and indeed across the Midlands over the next few weeks. Well, a voyage sets sail from Victoria Square tomorrow night at 10 o'clock.